Hey guys, good Monday afternoon. I thought I would just hop on and do maybe a quick little vlog. So it is Monday afternoon. It has been a crazy beginning into the work week. Good crazy, very, 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 very busy, which is fabulous. Um, of course, you know, we're still working on getting the store. We should be getting our CO this week and being able to move everything in next weekend and start doing business from there. Mm, week and a half, I don't know. So we're just still tiptoeing and figuring it out. I had to stay home today um, because, I don't know if I told you guys, a while back I had got a estimate on having my roof soft washed. One of you actually mentioned that we could do that. I hadn't even actually even thought about it. And I got an estimate from a company that was putting a roof on our rental property and they said $1,800 to soft wash the roof. I said, okay, well, let's hold off right now. I just couldn't figure out when to schedule it. And it seemed a little high for soft washing my roof. So I waited a little while and it's been bugging me, but I really wanted other stuff done too, not just the roof, but I want the gutters cleaned, I want the entire house pressure washed, the driveway, the walkway, the pool decking, and the curb going around the front of my house. Now I have an enormous frontage. Um, our, our, our lot is very, very, very wide and our hoses don't reach as far. And so long story short, I found a company that put a roof on, I'm sorry, I pressure washed one of my rental houses a while back and for $1,600, they are doing everything, including windows. I don't want them doing the inside, I'll do the insides, but um, I'm blown away that their prices were so much better. I mean, the other company wanted $1,800 just to soft wash my roof. This is my house and my detached garage. And this company is doing that for with plus gutters, windows, pressure washing, pool decking, driveway, walkways, curbs, and everything for $1,600. So I think the other one might've been a ripoff. So I don't know if you can see, if you look out my front window, there's a giant ladder going up my roof. And of course my dogs are not happy about this. Um, I do have some more work to do this afternoon. So I just thought I'd hop on here real quick um, and say hello because I haven't vlogged in a minute. I don't have any boxes. Well, I do have a Park Lane Sparkle Box to unbox. Um, but other than that, I don't really have anything to unbox today. Um, I know I told you guys I had first, gotten my very first MacBook Pro and I spent the weekend placing orders for the store and stuff on it and I love it. I'm so happy, happy, happy with it. Um, you wanna say hi? Say hi. Dexter, say hi. I know you wanna go out there so bad. Are you a good boy? He's getting so big. And there's the other two. The light has to adjust. What do you, I'm sorry babies, there are a bunch of people outside working. We can't do it right now. And it rained last night, so everything's a wet, muddy mess. You guys tell them you got brushed and got all the tangles and Jack's let me do his feet pretty darn well. I'm still waiting to see when I'm gonna do their actual grooming but we needed a good brushing down. It was the flea and tick time and all of that. So anywho, um, you know, let me go ahead and open that Park Lane Sparkle Box because it's been sitting over here and I have quite a few. Oh, have you guys tried this collagen powder? It's by Live Conscious. I somehow accidentally signed up for a subscription for it. So um, I've stopped that for now because I wasn't using it. Now I'm using it. It's for hair, skin, nail, and joint support. And it's completely flavorless. I love it. So leaving it out so I remember to use it to get on a routine for it. All right, let me, let me put you down and let me get this box open, okay? So um, I have paused the Park Lane Sparkle Box right now simply because I have so much jewelry. I really like it, but... Um, and I'm you know, getting ready to not be working from home as much, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna be filming when I'm not home as often. But I love this color, this purpley color, so pretty. And I love how these boxes open, they side this way. Um, if you're not familiar with Park Lane Sparkle Box, I think this is $39, I think you get three pieces of jewelry. And I signed up under Terry Kabuki from um, Southern Yankee, or is it two pieces? I think it's two pieces. Okay, what do we have? No insert that tells me, well, let's just take a look here. There's two pieces. And so far I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Well, it's kind of tangled though. Okay, it's literally the tangle just fell out all by itself. I've never seen that happen before. I didn't even have to work that one. Oh my gosh, I love this. 
Is that actually a working toggle? It sure is. Okay, I love this. So it is a double-stranded necklace, and it looks like, yeah, you can actually wear this. It has a little extra piece on here that is adjustable to puts them together, or you can take them apart and use them as individual necklaces. Brilliant. So this is like a little toggle necklace, and it is a working toggle. And then we have the little star with the bedazzle in it. I love this. Right now, I've actually got Park Lane, Spark, uh, Park Lane right now too. This is the B I got. I'm just wearing a gray uh, cowl neck, tunic-like sweater. I don't really know. And then some light colored jeans. And if I leave, I'll put on some boots. But this is gorgeous. And this is, I think I might re-up. I just started back on Park Lane Sparkle Box. And I really like it. I just, I ha I, what I don't want is a whole bunch of boxes coming in that pile up that I can't get to. That's what I don't want. And I just will still have clothing boxes coming from time to time. I've still got some that are scheduled to come. I'll just have to figure it out, right? I'll be doing try-ons at work. <laughs> and then we have a little bracelet that's also, okay, so it is the, the slide adjuster here. It looks like it's pretty small. It has a little bar with some little crystals in it. Mm, let's see. This is the bracelet that I got from Emily and Connor for Christmas that goes with my, did I tell you guys about that? I'll tell you about that in a second, okay? But, and this you just, these make it easy to fit your own wrist. I love them. All right, let me go ahead and try this on real quick. I've got, let me take this one off. This one is a big, this one is a, oh, I just spun it around. Did you see that? Kind of an antique brass, but that's, I love this. It goes with so much. And it's funny, I don't think I ever wear it on camera, but I do wear it a lot. So, all right, let's try this on and then I'll tell you about what Emily and Connor got me for Christmas. I don't know that I mentioned it. Am I, which way am I doing this? Turn it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tag off of this because I know when I go to put this on, the tag is gonna be getting me confused. All right, now this goes there. And I'm gonna make it longer because I don't have a narrow neck. All right, let's pretend like I'm not wearing a cowl right now. Let's see. So there's your little uh, toggle that goes up to the side and then the little star. I love it. I don't think it works well with a cowl neck for sure. I'll put the other one back on for today, but I love it. This was a really good one. Okay, so I'm gonna re-up and just, because it's not very expensive and you get to keep everything and you don't have to purchase, like with Rock's box, you pay the $21 and that $21 goes to whatever you keep in your box, but I always end up paying a whole lot more. So, okay, now I can't figure out how to get it off. I can't see. So, if I haven't mentioned this, oh heaven's sakes, Heather, for Christmas, um, I think I might have. Emily and Connor adopted a, well, they made a, a, a donation to a sea turtle conservatory, which allows me to track, it's a sea turtle that has a, um, oh, so what I did is I took it off the wrong one. Okay, Heather, Heather, Heather. Let's see what I've done. That just shows that you can use these as individual. Um, I, did, I took it off the wrong part. It allows me to track a sea turtle named Pop-Tart for roughly two years. And if you know me, I am a fan of sea turtles. I've gone diving with them a couple of times. Um, I am a certified diver. Um, and years ago, years and years and years ago, I was diving in Bonaire. Emily was four or five years old. And I ended up swimming with, there were 60 sea turtles. And this feeling came over me that was just, I mean, I'm diving, I was not at the surface, but this feeling came over me of this complete peace, but in a different kind of way, almost like I was around wise old men, you know what I mean? I, I just, the gracefulness, the purpose, excuse me, the purposefulness, the majesticness. And you know, they live to be, that 150 years old. I mean, they, they can be old turtles. So what they've seen, what they've gone through. And, and I mean, just, 
I could talk about them all day long. I've been to multiple conservatories. Um, I just you know, hate, I hate the fact that most of them don't even make it to the sea after they're born. But anyway, they made a donation in my name so that I could track Pop-Tart for the next two years. And I just, what a unique, uh, you know what I mean? And this little bracelet came with that, that whole set and I just and this gorgeous beach towel that she wanted me to leave at her house and I, I may eventually but right now it's, I think it's the prettiest beach towel I own. I've, I've got two. I've got another round one that my son and his wife gave me a few years back for my birthday I believe but okay I'm dropping a little baggies on the floor and I don't need my puppies to be chewing on those. So this was a really good box. This is gorgeous. Now I've got it working again so I am very thrilled with that. I'm going to hang that up in my bathroom. So, today, I've got some more work to do. I have no idea what else I'm gonna film. Um, I've had a really good start, what is today? The, today is the 10th of January. So the first week and a half of the new year has gone really well. We've been extremely busy. We worked New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I mean, we've, yesterday, actually I worked yesterday, but it wasn't as much, so I kind of considered it a day off. So yesterday was kind of like my day off of the only day off I've had this year. Yeah, this year. Um, but I look at that like that's a sign of this year, being fruitful, being, you know, um, successful and you know what I'm saying? And busy is good. My, my grandmother always said busy people are happy people and I'm happy. I'm happy right now. So I know that my puppies want to go. They're looking at me like mom, give me these eyes, but they can't. There's just people outside and it poured again. Just when it was starting to dry up, it came and saturated everything again. Heavy, heavy, heavy downpours. But we're supposed to have sunshine all week. It's going to be a busy week, probably a busy weekend, probably busy next week. But um, we have a new employee starting with us on Friday. That should be helpful. So there'll be four of us doing this now. And yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So hopefully I'll have something else to talk about the next time we pick up the camera. Well, good Tuesday afternoon. I got so busy with work yesterday and I didn't finish up work until about 8.30 last night. So I did not get a chance to pick up the camera again. I did, however, get a fashion in. And I'm hoping to be able to do that this afternoon. Um, I'm actually headed to the store now. We have uh, the internet going in today. The locksmith was there this morning and put the new locks on the doors. Um, the we're doing the walkthrough with the contractors for you know the, your final punch list, the things that you want you know done better or touched up or you know whatever. Um, I need to make sure that the hot water tank is working. Apparently the other one was working, but we have one a, like a residential faucet in there and it's more powerful than like a little bathroom faucet because it's a kitchen. We built a kitchen. So they needed a more heavy duty hot water tank. Hold on one second. Okay, that had to be annoying. I'm on this little bitty uh, road right now. I just wanted to make sure I was making the right turn and nobody was gonna hit me. Um, but yeah, so they, I think they might have already done that. I don't know. Um, our newest employee is meeting us up there today. Um, she starts, she's not gone through, she's already gone through some training, but she's, uh, I mean, actually she's gone through quite a bit of training, but she has more physical hands-on training starting next Monday. This is going to be a crazy weekend coming up. I don't know how much, I mean, well, how many, I don't know what's going to happen in the next probably month, uh, YouTube wise with, you know, getting the store. Put together the everybody trained things running seamlessly and I, I what i'm trying to say is i don't know when i'm gonna have a day off so um or even a few hours off that i'm not exhausted so please bear with me for a little while um i'm gonna do the very best that i can but i also have to have some mental sanity and sometimes i, I get myself a little overwhelmed so i'm a little overwhelmed right now um i'm in my car the back is filled with stuff that I need to take up to the store today. Um, our son-in-law is going to bring bringing an enclosed trailer on Friday because it's freaking cold outside, you guys. Well, actually, today, right now, it's 45, and I think that's the high for the day, and it's almost 1 p.m. Um, so he's he's going to come over, and he's he is so strong. He's going to be a lifesaver for us. So between him and Adam and Emily and I and Sandra, this week we should be able to get everything moved over to the store. And the plan is not only moved over, but at least 
the back end set up completely if not you know I, I don't think the storefront's going to be ready next uh, I, i'm giving myself about a week to two week grace period so that i'm not overly overwhelmed oh, there's a train there good gracious i hate it when the trains stop on the tracks so that makes me have to go around um but i have a i have an enormous delivery coming thursday probably the biggest delivery i've ever gotten and what's crazy you know, we've been working from home for all this time and we get a lot of deliveries we get oh so we've had bigger deliveries than this but i'm talking about like other regular stock um i had a dream a couple of nights ago that i opened up the garage door and the delivery had happened at our house rather than at our store and when i opened the garage door there was a wall of boxes and pallets and crates and bins and I was just like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do with all of this? So these, the stressful parts are making it into my dreams at night. So I was very thankful when I woke up that that wasn't true. I don't know what we would do. <laughs> in, I mean, in my dream, it was like this giant, like size of a house wall of stuff. And I feel like that's kind of what's coming on Thursday. And you know, it, you've got not only the inventory part of that coming, but you have to unload and you have to put a fine places for it. And this is a brand new store, so I don't know where everything's going to go yet. Plus, everything has to be put into inventory, and um, you know, all all of this stuff, you know, that that uh, added to added to our accounts and all that. Anyway, that's just what's going on in my world right now. And I, you know, when I vlog, I share these things with you, and so I, this is what's happening in my world right now. Um, this just added a couple extra minutes to my drive. Adam says it's 24 minutes from our house to work. I think he's incorrect. I think it's like 32. I know that's not that big of a difference, but still. But you know, the train stopping on the tracks, is, I'm never going to get an exact calculation because there's more than one way that I can go. And I keep trying to figure out the best way to go to save some time. But when the train sticks on the tracks, I it's, it screws up my calculations every time. Emily is the closest one to the store. So she's working today. Adam and I are headed up to the storefront. We have been over there. The only day that we didn't go there was Sunday and we still worked from home. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't as much, but we still did work. Um, actually, <laughs> I, I, Monday was crazy. Yesterday was absolutely insane. And what's cool is that our customers know we're building the store and they're really excited for us. And when we're up there working, they're coming by to check on our progress and asking how things are going. And we're really close. And this is crunch time. This is when things are going to get hairy and scary and exhausting. I mean, I'm last night I was so tired when I went to bed. And I mean, I'm an insomniac. I still, I still, without meds, I can't fall asleep. But my body, I just, I literally was so tired I felt sick. Anyway, such as, you know, it, it's, it's good. And right, busy people are happy people, right? I will try, if I have an opportunity, to bring out the camera before all the rest of the signs go up. I, I don't, there's, we, there's, I just don't want to have any personal information on there. So I will do what I can, show you what I can maybe block out some stuff I don't know um, I'm not going to show you all the way up to the ceiling because our it's just know that it's a 20 foot ceiling and there's a wall that goes through the middle that separates the front retail area to the back um, warehouse area and it's just a nine foot wall so that this, the the it just looks really big and open so anyway anywho um, I will check in a little bit later and hopefully by the time I get home I still have some energy left to do my fashion oh and this cute little sweater you see this little neckline this i got from nordstrom it just came in the mail like two days ago it's a madewell sweater so these are that's the neckline and then here's the sleeves i just thought it was so cute and it's very well made i don't know what it's made out of but it's kind of it's it's not like a fuzzy it's like a i don't know i don't know i love it so i'm just wearing that no necklace because of the neckline. I oh, went silver jewelry today, so I've got these little silver earrings with a little mother of pearl in them. I don't know where I got them. I'm wearing a silver Tiffany bracelet and silver ring. Um, the same Monica Vanderder ring that I have in gold, I also have in silver. And then I have on de denim jeans that are ankle length and a little pair of beige suede pointy toe flats. And we'll 
kind of pointy toe flats that I got from Dillard's like two years ago that I love and they're so comfortable. I'm not a uniform person, so um, I I won't I won't wear a uniform. I may from time to time wear a work shirt or whatever, but I I'm not a uniform person. It's just not gonna be what I do. All right, I'll check in a little bit later. All right, I am at my store and I thought I would try to turn you around and show you what I can show you. First of all, the town put this in for us. This is a little dog bone bench for people to sit with their dogs. A little fire hydrant and on back order, but is coming is a little dog tunnel. So this is like a little interactive doggy area. This is the front of the store. Okay. Have to look. Here we've got, hold on one second. Okay, here we, the only thing we've gotten up so far is our leashes, collars, and leads, and harnesses. Um, let's see, it's really, really sunshiny in here, so half the stuff is so bright, and then other stuff I can't really show, but you can see shelves are empty at this point. Uh, empty counters, empty displays, and there's my husband walking back and forth. One of my favorite things in here is the barn doors here. So, <laughs> Y'all, it's so bright, it's blinding. These are gorgeous barn doors on a tract. And when you open up back there, that is the warehouse area or the working area. It's about as big as the front is here. The ceilings are at least 20 feet. They might be more than that, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see if there's really no way I can show you much more. Let me hold on one second. So you all had heard about us trying to put in a little kitchen. This is our, our little kitchen. <laughs> Literally the refrigerator is the biggest thing here. Okie doke. I am home. Um, it is a little after six and I'm going to go ahead and open my fascia. Yeah. I'm about to stab myself in the face with these scissors. Why are these up here? I think these go down in the kitchen. Um, I must have grabbed them on my way up. Anyway, got a lot done today. A lot done today. I'm happy about that. I have a hair appointment tomorrow to get some color at 2. So I'm going to go straight from working in the morning to there and then probably back to the store to do some more work. I may make that work. I have not had a fashion. I don't remember the last time I did a fashion, but I've been seeing some really cute things coming. I don't have the deets. Let's find out what the deets. It says, thank you. Self-love is the best outfit. Your purchase makes a difference. We donate $1 to Second Chance Rescues New York City for every box sent. And it's another thing that we do. We work with a lot of rescues around here. And third week in February, we are hosting an adoption event. Well, tentatively, as long as everything is going as planned. Um, but we've scheduled it today. We are going to, with one of our rescues, we are hosting an adoption event at our store. It'll be our first event. We work with four different rescues in the area and today we made a huge donation to one of them. Um, the other three are getting donations this week as well. We're just having to schedule it as we can do it. But I'm just feeling really positive. P-A-W positive. And yeah, I'm just really happy today. So sorry, I got off track. Look how pretty this little holographic F is. That's beautiful. Um, in this little basket, this little pouch here, I know that better as I am is their hashtag, by the way, is the information. Like I said, it's been probably a good solid year. Um, honestly, I can't remember what the styling fee was. Hi, Heather, and thank you so much for styling with fashion again. It's lovely to see you back with us. For that beautiful weather ahead, I've included some fresh business casual pieces to help start off the new year right. A couple of these are a bit transitional as well, but one, one of my favorites could be the marine, marine corduroy jacket because it can be such a versatile piece. I especially love it layered over the Fernet faux wrap dress, over the knee boots, or the neo ruffle sleeve top and paired with the people recycled skinny ankle jeans for a com comfortable yet pulled together look. Can't to wait to hear what you think. Exo Kristen. Um, I can't wear over the knee boots. I don't have thin enough legs. At least I haven't found any that go up and I'm so short. It just, to me, doesn't work for me. So there's not going to be any over the knee boots for me. They don't send shoes, I don't believe. But, woo! Here is 
my bundle. We'll quickly go through it. I'm not going to lollydag on this. And then Adam's going to come up and we, ha we don't know what the sound is. We are not playing any music. There is the only thing that's on is our computer. We have done sound checks on everything and not found any reason. Honestly, what's coming to our minds, Adam has an old filling in his mouth from like 30 years ago. And I actually Googled it. It can transmit radio frequency. So unless you're hearing it and he's not even home, I, I'm at a loss. I'm not doing it on purpose, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pull off what's on top. This is kind of one of those little polyester. This is La Ami. I got some La Ami from Stitch Fix. So here is the little, like a leopard. It's the Neo Ruffle Sleeve Top. It's 15% um, off price. If you keep three or more, you get 15% off. If you get keep all five items, you get 30% off. So, and this breaks it down move my address here this breaks it down into how much you, you know the percentage off if you the if i keep it full on out and it's the only thing i keep is 45 dollars the 15 percent off price is 38.25 and the 30 percent off price is 31.50 and this is going to be one of those clingy shirts and it's got a kind of a tight neckline it does have a really cute ruffle sleeve detail on the shoulders i think it's going to be a three-quarter length sleeve i don't really enjoy this fabric is the problem and the so is there not a fabric tag in here? There's no, there's no, um, there's no fabric tag in this. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. It's inside out. There is no fabric tag on this shirt. So it's just, it's not the material that I like to wear. But polyester, stretchy with spandex, cute. I just don't think it's going to be for me. This is cute though. This is the Gilly wrap dress, the Renee Faux wrap dress. Um, regular price is $68. Oh, it's a kind of a knee length. It's that same material. I, I will need to wear shapewear, I think, with this, at least for my back area. And um, I'm not gonna have time to do it tonight, but I am gonna be doing a collaboration with Honey Love. And they've reached out to me. I just, I, I've got to find the time to do all the stuff. But I love the colors of this. It has like a, a bell, I mean, a, a boat sleeve. What a balloon sleeve, boat sleeve? What is a boat sleeve? And it's got like a tie here. It's a faux wrap. It does not have a modesty snap or anything. It's cute. I'm just not digging the material. All right, we got some jeans. These are the D jeans, the Pipo Recycled Ankle Skinny Jeans. The regular price on these are $67. Ankle, yeah, they're skinny jeans. No, oh, there's faux, there are faux pockets in the front. Functioning pockets in the back. And it does have a regular working zipper and button. Recycled, oh, I kind of like the idea that they're recycled. They're just faded, that's it. There's no... What you call it? I don't have any t-shirts up here, so I'm gonna have to wear that other shirt underneath this jacket because I'm, that tank top that I tried on the other day is in the wash. Sadie Sage, Sadie and Sage. The little tag is lace, how cute is that? This is kind of cute. It's a little corduroy blazer jacket, single button. Are they real pockets? No, faux little flat pockets straight line here but i think that will make it where i can cuff this up very nicely like that i like that it's a lantern oh no it's the sadie and sage marine corduroy jacket my price is 48 and depending on if the 15 percent off is 40 80 and the 30 percent off is 33 60 but so far i'm really liking that i have a couple of corduroy jackets though i have an army green one i think i actually have two green ones and then last is a sweater. This is the Cozy Miranda Lantern Sleeve Sweater for $54. And then I'm not going to go through all the prices. I like the detail on the sleeve. It's kind of a mock neck. Kind of like that. Is it cropped? I think it's cropped. I think it's cropped. All right. Let me call Adam up here and we'll do a try on. So I've got the first three pieces on. Let's start with the jacket. 
the Sadie and Sage Marine Corduroy Jacket. Now there is no stretch in this at all. I mean, I can button it, it's not a problem. Underneath the girls. It has no stretch, it's kind of tight in the shoulders. I didn't check the size. The sizes are not listed on that. So um, I do like the fact that I can cuff up the sleeves. I think it's cute. It's very thin. So this would be good like year round for me, <laughs> you know, indoors in the winter time and outdoors in the summertime. So I think it's cute. What do you think, babe? That's okay. And is it, I know it just came out of packaging. It's very but, wrinkled. Right. Is it, is it the kind of material you have to constantly iron or whatever? Or? I probably just need to put fluffing in the dryer. Not right now, guys. Hold on. It's cute. Um, I don't think it's a winner in my book. All right, let's take this off. And here, this is the, I can't remember, La Ami Nina Ruffle Sleeve Top. I do like the little poof sleeves. I think that's a cute detail. There's elastic in there that pulls it to make it do that. Um, but again, it's that material that I don't love. What do you think? Oh, thousand times yes compared to that jacket oh. and, it does, and it does it does i mean it flatters you very well i, I feel like, like it shows things. this little squishy nah hair. not really that's a you thing not everybody else's thing i see it here though nope it shapes you very very well it's a pretty top and i think everybody will agree with me in the comments <laughs> all right and then the jeans are the d jeans they actually fit really really nice mm. They're, um, they're size eight, actually, but they run a little tight. There's no working pockets in the front. There's a little stretch in them, but not a lot. Um, but yeah, I think they're, they fit nice. I like the length. Just don't know that I need another pair of skinny jeans right now. Um, I'm gonna take this top off and put on the sweater, and then we'll try on the dress. Okay, so now I have on the Cozy Miranda Lantern Sleeve Sweater. Now, I really like the sleeves. I think the sleeves are fun. It's a little itchy and it's a little cropped. So that's my belly and the top of my pants, which is just below my belly button. And there's no like reaching over my head without showing everything. I honestly feel like if I reached up, it would actually come above my bra. I'm not gonna attempt, I'm not gonna try that on camera, but I think it would. Um, I just don't think it's, what do you think, babe? Yeah, no, it's not, it's not your style for sure. Not my style. You wouldn't wear it. No. All right, let's try on the dress. All right, this is the last piece. This is the Gilly Renee faux wrap dress. Um, and this is the closest I've got to over the knee boots, which I don't think really matches. The dress is cute. This I like the sleeves. Um, I don't know how I feel about the color or the pattern on me, babe. What do you think? Uh, Little House on the Prairie called and Melissa Gilbert wants her dress back. <laughs> okay, I like Little House on the Prairie. I, I, I'm not seeing any clear winners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the footage on the, on the computer and we'll do a quick recap and then I'm going to end this little uh, impromptu vlog, okay? So as I expected, nothing absolutely wowed me in this one. Um, I kind of had hopes for the dress, but it just really wasn't my, it just didn't make me feel good. So none of these clothes really made me feel better as I am situation. So um, I will try again in a couple of weeks, but I, everything fit fine and they were mainly mediums and larges, um, eights, mediums and larges. So the jacket was a large. So all in all, I think that the, the items themselves were cute items. They just didn't work on me. So that is it for my fashion, and that is it for this vlog. I'm hoping that I gave you a little bit of an update. I have no idea what, what I showed. Um, I know I tried to show a little bit of the store today. It's going to be chaos here in the next couple of weeks at least, I think. Um, and I, I'm just going to do the best I can, and I hope you guys will stick with me and have patience with me. And thank you to those that have been giving me you know, encouraging messages. And I yeah, just thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a very happy day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.